This is tutorial number 86, and it covers the measure inertia feature within CATIA v5. To start off, open up the fishing reel step file, which is located on the DVD. Now the measure inertia is the last feature of our measure tools. So what it's going to do is it's going to give us a bunch of inertia values, center of gravity, uh, volume and density of our part. So to do this, let's click on the measure inertia, and you're either able to select the part or select it within the tree here. So let's select each of them in the tree. So let's click the handle assembly here, and we'll click the measure inertia, and it's going to give us the inertia values for it. Now, you can see in here that the mass is very, very small, and that's because we haven't really applied a material to it. And the center of gravity is shown here, the inertia values are shown here, and your moment values too. So with this tool, you're able to find out a bunch of key critical values when you're uh, kind of evaluating your part. So knowing the center of gravity, uh, the mass, the area, the volume, uh, we're able to do that in the other uh, tools, but in this one it puts it all together. You're able to actually also export it uh, into either, say, an Excel file or a document. So you're able to take all these values, produce them, and see if they meet the uh, design criteria that you're looking for. Now we just did it on the handle assembly, and if we click OK, we can also do it on the entire assembly. So let's click the fishing reel, click inertia, and now it's doing it on the entire assembly. So it's showing uh, that the entire mass is about 0 0.119 kilograms. It's telling you where the center of gravity of this part is. And it's just giving you, again, all these inertia values and the moment values. So again, using these values, you're able to export them. And you're able to use it and see if it meets the design, uh, design criteria that you're looking for. And that concludes our tutorial on the measure inertia feature within CATIA v5.